What's up everybody? Welcome back. It has been a while since I've been on here giving you guys an update with where things are at. So it has been a crazy couple of months and I figured I would jump in, add this video into the rotation, and then kind of give you guys all an update and let you know what to look forward to coming up on Seeking Discovery. So it's been about three months since I have posted my last build video and that's when things kind of got hectic on the build and my lease was coming closer to ending, which means I really needed to focus on the build out and not so much on editing. So that's why the editing kind of stopped for a while. So I still did film a whole bunch of content as I was going in the build and throughout the process. As you guys can see around me, there's a lot more in here than what the last video showed in the build series. So one of my goals is to get back into editing all that content for you guys so that you can see the journey that I went through creating this bus into a tiny home. No, it is not done by any means. Um, you can still see that I need to get the ceiling done. There's more that needs to be done back there, and I need the table built in the dinette area. So there's still a lot of projects to happen, to document, and to share with you guys along the way. Welcome to Seeking Discovery. I'm Ryan, and I have a passion for travel and building things. At the end of 2020, I decided it'd be a great idea to purchase my very own school bus to convert into a tiny house. So come along as I make mistakes, learn a lot, and make lasting memories turning this old bus into a new tiny home. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along on all the adventures. I look forward to sharing this with all of you. And as always, continue to explore every day. So I think the last video that I left you guys with was getting rid of the old wiring in the bus. And as you can see, a lot has happened since then. So it is August now, the last update was three months ago, and like I said, the reason I stopped putting the updates out is because I was in crunch time to get everything ready in time for my lease ending in Florida. So my lease ended at the end of May, which means I had to have the bus livable by the beginning of June so that I could move in. It didn't have to be finished, but I had to have a place to live because ultimately I didn't want to renew my lease and keep paying the hundreds of dollars a month that I was towards that. So that's why the editing stopped. I had to put a couple of other projects on hold as well. So now that I'm in the bus basically full time, we are gonna get back into editing, creating content. One of the other reasons I hadn't been editing so much here on YouTube is because I was focusing on my TikTok. So if you guys haven't followed, definitely go check out my TikTok. There's way more content on there right now. So if you wanna see what I've been up to, a lot more of the build info, definitely check it out. The link's in the bio. Um, so now I'm trying to get things balanced back out. I'll be posting on Instagram again more regu regularly, and obviously I'll be back here on YouTube sharing these adventures with you guys. So as we're kind of moving forward in time, my lease ended, moved into the bus, and drove from Florida up to Wisconsin, and hung out at my parents' house for about a month. Um, doing more work, getting prepped, and then the big push was to kind of take the bus on a 4th of July trip with the family, which we were able to do. Again, it wasn't as far along as I had hoped in the, when that time came, but it worked. Then once we got back from that trip, one of my friends actually flew in from Arizona and came on the road with me for about three and a half weeks. So once things were kind of ready to roll, we hit the road and we did a tour around the Great Lakes. So we went up to the upper peninsula of Michigan, we did Mackinac Island, we down to, went down to the lower peninsula of Michigan, and now I'm making my way back up into Wisconsin, again, to go hang out at my parents for a few weeks before I head out on the road again. So that trip was a ton of fun. We did have some interesting things happen on there, and I did get some of it on camera to share with you guys. Um, so maybe we'll cut over to that right now. I had, I guess, what you would call my second big breakdown. The first one was when I bought the bus and blue tires on the road and was stranded and had to wait about six hours for a crew to come out. Well, this time around, we pulled into a campground in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, getting things ready to go, and all of a sudden I noticed my low air warning was on for my air brakes, and I had lost air pressure. So we'll cut to that footage, give you guys a rundown of what happened with that, and then we'll kind of come back in, wrap up today's video, and let you know what to look forward to. Good morning, everybody. It's been a wild couple of days out here in the bus, so it's been a while since I've pulled the camera out and actually done some footage. So I wanted to get it out, get you guys caught up with what's going on. So we are currently stranded in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and by stranded, I mean our air brakes went out. So luckily it happened after we got to this campsite, so we were in a safe spot, nothing bad happened. 
So over the past day, I tried to get in touch with my roadside service. They had nobody available to actually come out and do work. So what did I do? I jumped on YouTube, started watching some other people's videos, and met some awesome campers here at the campground who were willing to come over and help take a look at things. We tore some stuff apart yesterday, and then this morning they were gracious enough to run me into town so we can pick up a air governor for the system. So they're off having some fun today. I'm gonna dive into the engine, get this new governor on, and hope that that fixes our issues. So I do just wanna give a quick shout out to Bussy McBusface. I was able to reach out to them last night on Instagram and chatted kind of with what was going on and got some help and insight from them. So if you guys don't follow them already, head over to their YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Again, Mike and Carrie have been phenomenal. They've answered a bunch of my questions over the time of building the bus, and hopefully someday I'll actually get to meet up with them on the road. But for now, they've been a great resource to me on the road as I've been troubleshooting some of this. So I'm gonna go get the engine compartment open, show you guys what we're working with, and we're gonna swap out this governor. Okay, so we are out here on my workbench. This is what an air governor looks like. So this is what we think is wrong with the air system. Um, all of a sudden I couldn't build pressure any higher than 30 PSI and my air dryer was purging air continuously. So after talking to Mike, he explained that this um, kind of is what controls the purge valve and the fact that the purge valve was open is a pretty good indicator that this is bad. So there's these other fittings that go on it and the mount up bolts. So uh, my new friends, who drove me into town, we were able to find one. Um, they didn't have it at the first Napa we stopped at, so we did have to drive a little bit farther, but now we've got this brand new governor to install. So new one, old one, all of the parts, we've got the mount up brackets, and we need to put these air hoses back in there. So I'm gonna go ahead, get started with that, um, and then I'll show you guys where it goes on the bus. So it's kind of hard to see. This is my engine compartment. So right in here is where that governor goes and you've got these two air lines that run back to the air dryer. So that's kind of what we're gonna be working on getting set up. So that air, a governor will go here. We'll get these two hoses reconnected and things will be good to go. So let's go ahead and get to it. So we got our ports back on here. Now the next thing we need to do is put our plugs in the holes to match where the plugs are in here so that we keep the air where we need it to be for install. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. As you can see, I did add a little bit of Teflon tape to these just to help them stay as airtight as possible. Okay, as you guys can see, we pretty much have everything put back together the way it needs to be. We've got our bolts there ready to go. We've got our air hookups. We've got our pad in here to kind of seal any gaps when we mount it up. We've got our exhaust port the way it is, and everything is plugged where it needs to be. So we're gonna go mount this up and try starting the bus. Okay, take two. So we just got back from Napa. Our awesome camp neighbors were willing to drive us in for some parts. So based on what I read online, somebody else said they needed to replace their um, cartridge in their air dryer and that fixed their issues. So I just put a new cartridge on, cleaned it all up, re-lubricated it. So we're gonna go get this reinstalled and fired up and hope that this does it. Worst case scenario, I did also buy a replacement purge valve. So if it's still not working, then I will replace this next. So we're gonna climb back under the bus, get this remounted and hope that this is what our problem was. Well guys, I've got some exciting news. Just fired up the bus and we officially have air pressure. So it was not the first thing I thought, it was not the second thing I thought, but finally the third thing, and it was actually the simplest. So if we look at this down here, ugh, this is the purge valve on the air dryer. And I just noticed today, I don't know if you guys can see on there, one of the O-rings was split on this. And that little O-ring is all it took to throw my entire air brake system haywire and limit me to 30 PSI. And if you guys aren't familiar with air brakes, that means my parking brake has been locked for the past three days. We had no chance in moving the bus unless we brought in outside air and pumped the tank manually. So something so simple that is often overlooked can play such a massive role in a system like this. So, I do wanna give shout outs to my new friend over here. Um, I was out here working, he was coming asking about the bus 
and I do not have a tow vehicle or anything like that. So when I said that I needed parts from Napa, he was gracious enough to offer to drive me into town this morning, pick up some parts, and actually the first store didn't have what we needed, so he was willing to drive another 30 minutes south to another Napa to get what we needed. So now the bus has a new governor, a new air dryer cartridge, and a new purge valve. So hopefully the air system will be ready to go in the future for anything. Anything you want to add or say to the people of... Just another shout out to Mike, Mike Guyver there from Bussy McBuffsface. Um, full of information, especially about the air brakes. Oh yeah, and I reached out to Mike on Instagram during this whole ordeal and he spent probably a good three to four hours responding to me over the past two days, helping me troubleshoot and try to figure things out. So he has a really good in-depth video of how he redid all of his air brake systems. So I'll drop a link in the uh, description below if you guys want to check out Busty McBusface and all of Mike's in-depth videos on uh, checking out his system. So this is just the reality of bus life. You never know when something's gonna break. We were lucky that ours broke in a safe place, that we were already at a campground, we're not on the side of the road. Um, and even though my roadside service wasn't able to find somebody to come out, after trial and error, we got it fixed, probably for less, with just a few more headaches. So if you guys like this kind of content, please drop a comment below, give it a big thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to follow the rest of the bus adventures. We'll see you guys later. That was a wild time in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan without air brakes, and I learned so much about my air system, and a huge shout, shout out to Mike and Carrie over at Bussy McBusface. I had enough internet service that I was able to message them on Instagram and they were giving me ideas to try and things to figure out. So huge shout out to them for helping me be able to figure out my issues and get the air brakes back online so that we could continue on our trip. We lost about three days in that process, but made some good friends along the way. So it was all a win-win in my books. So now that kind of wrapping up this big first month long trip, headed back. Some of the next projects I'll be working on is painting the bus. That has still not happened. The bus is still yellow. Upgrading the solar system at some point, and by upgrading I mean I want to add more batteries and get a bigger inverter, as well as I want to rewire kind of my distribution area so that it's a little bit more neat and concise and uses the space better. Also behind me, I have to build out the closet still with all custom built-ins, which kind of goes hand in hand with the rewiring and organization of the solar system. Other than that, as you guys can see, there still is no ceiling in the bus. There's no timeline on when that's gonna happen, but that'll be a down the road project because ultimately it doesn't really affect the livability of the bus right now. So there's still quite a few things going on. I'm looking forward to getting back on the road, doing some more traveling, and then eventually I'll head back south for the winter this year. Um, so yeah, ultimately, if you guys are new to, new to the channel, I wanna say thank you for following, subscribing, and welcome to the adventure and I look forward to sharing all of this with you guys. If you have questions or comments or things you wanna know about the build, drop it in the comment section below so that I know what kind of content you guys wanna see coming up. Again, check out the rest of my social media for the most up-to-date content since YouTube will still be behind for a while. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for hanging out for this update on kind of where things are at. Again, sorry that I disappeared for a few months, but I am back. I'm looking forward to getting back into editing and sharing all of this with you. So if you guys like this update and you're excited for more bus adventures, please give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below if you have questions or specific topics or projects you want me to talk about in more detail so that you guys can figure it out as you're going along. Also, one of the other services I've added into this while life on the road is I've actually started one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if anybody's interested in van life, bus life, basically becoming a full-time digital nomad, I now offer one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring for other people who want to join and kind of come into this lifestyle. So I'll put a link in the bio for that as well if you're interested in checking it out and potentially getting to work with me one-on-one -on -one to help you kind of become a digital nomad like I have. And if you guys haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can see when the next video comes out. We will be jumping back into the build series after this video, and once that's all caught up, we will be transitioning over to more of the bus life content, life on the road, things like that. So thanks for hanging out for this video. I know it was probably a little bit long-winded, but we threw in some excitement with that air brake issue that I had on this last trip. And we'll see you guys in the next video.